stop. Hey everybody, greetings from the dank basement. I am so excited. I finally have a Rosinski snuff to present to you and to talk about today. Now, I have not a lot of experience with green tobacco snuffs. Not at all. But this is one of the four that I know of, made by Rene Rosinski. There are a couple of others, Morning Dew, Hayfield, and Dreisner. This one is called Morning Morgenthau. Morgenthau. Morgenthau, I think, means dawn light or the first light of day is the Morgenthau, if I'm not mistaken. It is not Morning Dew, I know that. It smells marvelous in the envelope. And I know that this is going to be a great experience. Now, I can't really show it to you because it's in the so-called 10 gram refill envelope, but I have been told it is an olive color snuff. It is, as I said, it's made with green tobacco. Now, the tobacco in this is quite special in that Rene Rosinski grows this himself. He does not buy this tobacco on the, you know, leaf tobacco market, he actually cultivates it himself, which means that these green tobaccos, and, and some of his others, in fact, are going to be in quite short supply. If you can get your hands on this one, I'm going to tell you right now, get some. You will not be disappointed, but please don't hog it. Don't buy everything that Mr. Snuff or anybody has. Save some of this so that we can all enjoy it. I get very tired of tobacco hoarding, I first discovered tobacco hoarding when I tried to buy Stonehaven. Everyone was talking about how good Stonehaven pipe tobacco from Esoterica is. And the Stonehaven would come in at 9 o'clock in the morning and be gone by 9.05 because everybody was grabbing it up so they could hold on to it for six months and then sell it at five times the price on eBay. Don't be a bastard. Don't do that, please, with these. These snuffs are hard to get, and they are so worth it. Now, the grind on this, of course, is absolutely perfect. Rene Rosinski does a brilliant job with milling the snuff. The moisture level is slightly above medium, which is going to make this very easy to sniff. In the envelope, I'm smelling something very herbal, uh, and I had a hard time sorting out what the aromas are. But let's get it up the nose, and let's see what we have. Mr. Rosinski, Herr Rosinski, ein Prosit. Okay, there's something very sweet right away when you take it. There is a slight burn, but not much, a very mild burn. It, it burns just a little bit when you take it. Uh, but not bad at all. Now, in the nose, what a strange and lovely mix of smells. Yes, this does have menthol, but if you are a menthol hater, don't avoid this just because you don't like menthol. The menthol in this is a bare hint. There's hardly anything in there, just enough to open up your nose, and you're going to want to open up your sinuses because this takes a little bit of discernment to figure out what these aromas are. Now this is going to sound strange, and I will, I will tip my hand here a little bit. I've talked about this snuff with a couple of other snuff reviewers already, and we've kind of come to a consensus. The first thing you smell is something very herbal, like unblossomed flowers. You're not smelling the flower perfume, but it smells like flowers that are just getting ready to open. I think the floral note in this is probably wallflower. Um, it is a very gentle sweetness and slightly citric. Now, there may be some lemon in this as well, but I think that the citric note comes from the wallflower scent that I'm smelling. Now, this also smells like nettle. If you've ever taken nettles and brewed a tea out of them, and that's old folk medicine, but if you've ever made tea with nettles that you can just find in your backyard, uh, that is part of the overall aroma profile. This is perfect. 
I this is a seven out of five, eight out of five. This may be the best snuff that I have tried in the last three years. It's good, guys. I did not know what to expect with the green tobacco. Much less does it have nicotine. I mean, it's green. It's not cured with fire or a lot of uh, you know aging in the sun or whatever. So how is the nicotine? The nicotine's good. On a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is nothing of nicotine and 10 is way too much, this is slightly above mid-range, uh, maybe a 6, depending on your tolerance, perhaps a 7. Uh, it is not a low nicotine snuff, and I expected it to be because of its herbal scent. But I will say this. This contains tobacco, but the herbal notes are better than anything I've ever smelled calling itself an herbal snuff. This is fresh garden. Not grassy, not at all, but imagine the smell of nettles, of wallflower, of lemon, just a little bit of a mint note to this, and it is fabulous. Obviously, I love it. The squinty scale, since it only goes up to five, this is going to get a five. It is truly delicious, leckert, fantastic. So, I really love this. Herr Rosinski, danke schön. This is brilliant. I mean brilliant. Morgan Tau from Renee Rosinski. You can pick this up at the Rosinski web shop, of course. You may be able to find it even on MrSnuff.com. From the dang basement, I am your squicked funkle dunky winky dinky. Yeah. Paul Schalbetter, and I do thank you for watching. Morgan Tau. Das ist gut. That's my bad German. You like it? Das ist gut. Ja. Sehr gut. Like muy gut.